Liquidators overseeing Abraj Group's insolvency now estimate Chief Executive Officer Arif Nakhvi's alleged theft to have cost the firm $385 million, an amount significantly more than what prosecutors had earlier claimed. Just in case you need a quick recap on the Abraj case to brush up your memory and also because a lot of you have been asking me to do an explainer on this case, here goes. Who is Arif Nakhvi? He is one of the six former Abraj executives who faced charges stemming from the private equity firm's 2018 collapse. What is this infamous Abraj case then? The Dubai Financial Services Authority fined two Abraj Group companies a combined $315 million for deceiving investors and misappropriating funds. Problems began in February 2018 with allegations that money in Abraj's health fund had been misused. Nakhvi and Abraj denied all wrongdoing and blamed unforeseen political and regulatory hurdles for a delay in deploying the necessary payments. After Abraj defaulted on loans, Kuwait's public institution for social security and a fund linked to Sharjah-based Crescent Group's Hamid Jafar moved to force the company into a court-supervised restructuring. Abraj then filed for provisional liquidation in Cayman Islands where they registered. Price Waterhouse Cooper LLP, helping to oversee Abraj's restructuring, said the group's main revenues hadn't really covered its operating costs for years. Abraj had borrowed to fill the gaps and fund asset purchases and wound up owing creditors more than $1 billion. But there were wider repercussions to this. Abraj's downfall eroded investor confidence in all of the private equity companies in emerging markets. Now, you have to know that Abraj was one of the largest investors with $13.6 billion in assets under management. Now, since this entire fiasco began unraveling, private equity firms based in all of these GCC countries have raised almost no money. That is in spite of strong performance almost everywhere else, according to Seattle-based data provider Pitchbook and London-based Peckin. Now, let me get to the latest updates on this case. In court papers last year, US prosecutors said Nakhvi stole more than $250 million. But in a new filing on Friday, the liquidators put the losses much higher, claiming Nakhvi stole $385 million from 2009 to 2018 as he moved money from his own use in more than 3,700 transactions. The liquidators are at work trying to trace the transactions and have asked a New York judge for permission to file subpoenas on 18 banks. Nakhvi, who has again denied all wrongdoing, is under house arrest right now in London, facing possible extradition to the US. Well, we will continue bringing to you updates on this story and the various other exposés we do on ArabianBusiness.com and ABTV. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and of course, like, follow and comment on this video.